Malik Monk is a Sacramento King. He has signed with the Sacramento Kings in a two-year, $19 million deal. Let's talk about it. I love the acquisition by Monty and staff. Sacktown, what is going on? Sacktown Pete, back at it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. The Sacramento Kings have made shooting one of the needs and priority this offseason. And Monty and staff did not waste no time. Uh, as soon as the deadline to sign, negotiate deals, and sign free agents opened up, the Kings wasted no time. They went and met with Malik Monk, and they signed with Malik Monk. For those of you that know, Malik Monk is a shooting guard. He shoots the ball pretty well. And he was a former teammate of De'Aaron Fox back in Kentucky during their college days. So a uh, great pickup for the Sacramento Kings. I'm not going to lie. I honestly thought that Malik Monk would not come and sign here. I thought he would re-sign with the Los Angeles Lakers where he previously played last year with the Lakers. But it got to a point where like he wanted to reunite and reconnect with his old buddy. And he saw Sacramento as an opportunity. Uh, what does this mean for the current guards on the roster moving forward? Uh, I think it's um, pretty safe to say that Malik Monk, there's a good chance where he's going to be probably the starting two guard. Unless if they trade, a crazy trade happens, if the Kings bring in a a superstar shooting guard uh, via trade, uh, I think Malik Monk is going to be your starting two, which is perfectly fine. I'm totally fine with it. I don't see him coming off the bench. I think this uh, he will be in the backcourt with De'Aaron Fox. And um, how about seeing them two light it up and play really good in the backcourt because we saw it in Kentucky. Uh, we know they have a long lasting relationship and their brothers and what a perfect time to have fox have him come over and uh, sign with us uh, gets me excited because this opens up a lot for davion mitchell to run with the second unit i think davion mitchell is very capable of being the starter as well but i also believe that uh, the kings can definitely make him the sixth man off the bench and have him run the second unit and uh, be do a fantastic job of running the second unit what does this mean for Terrence Davis? Uh, it means that he's going to get buckets coming off the bench. Uh, TD is going to be ready to go. I have a feeling that he's going to be having a big role off the bench, and he's going to be one of the spot-up shooters and be consistent this upcoming season. And I like this Malik Monk acquisition a lot. I think it's going to be great offensively uh, for us. You know, comparing it to Dante DiVincenzo, uh, he's better offensively. Malik Monk is a better offensive player. Whereas Di Vincenzo was obviously the better defender. But I feel like this probably was the deal that they had in place, uh, which they felt comfortable having Di Vincenzo walk into free agency. So, and I'm kind of glad they made this a priority and they got this uh, deal done as soon as the free agency window opened up. Because, you know, if you don't get something done right away, who knows where that may lead to. And I think that they were very confident they were going to sign Malik Monk as soon as free agency opened up. That let the door open for DiVincenzo to walk away and to not extend them a qualifying offer. So in my previous video, I was confused and seeing what are the Kings doing. But now, obviously, it makes a lot of sense because I previously mentioned that they may have a deal in place, whether it's a free agent signing or whether it's a trade. And it looks like Malik Monk um, was that deal in place that they had that they felt comfortable letting, letting uh, DiVincenzo walk away. I also want to mention uh, Malik Monk lit it up. You know, for whatever reason, I don't know why the Lakers didn't uh, play him or start him alongside Westbrook. In uh, the games that he played with 25-plus minutes, uh, he put up points. Um, he averaged 18, 19 points a game. He shot 41% from beyond the arc. And he had a 40-piece game against the Denver Nuggets, which I was watching on League Pass one, uh, one day. And he let it up. He was getting buckets. Uh, he started that game, and he was a walking bucket. So it uh, gets me excited. It gets me excited to see the, the, the brothers reunite with him at Fox. It gets me excited for what he's gonna, what Malik Monk is going to do uh, for this team and the, and the core players. Um, spread the floor. He's going to get a lot of wide-open looks, especially the fact that you know Fox, Davion, and uh, – Demonis are going to draw a lot of attention, and I think it's going to open up the doors for him to light it up, and I think he's going to be really consistent. I honestly think that Malik Monk might have his best um, NBA season as a pro this upcoming season with the Kings. 
I just think that that chemistry and that vibes there with Fox, and I think that them, uh, he's going to be really, really good, and he's going to have his best um, season with the Sacramento Kings in his NBA career thus far. And the great thing about the signing is that it's not a long-term signing. It's a two-year deal, and the fact that Malik Monk is only 24 years old, uh, you get a player that's going to be fit and fit with the same age as your core. You know, Davion's 23, De'Aaron's 24, Demonis Sabonis just turned 26. Um, I like it. I like it. Um, if he excels, which I think he will, you can possibly look into him signing again after two seasons. And if it doesn't work out for whatever uncertain reason, then it doesn't work out. But all indications point that this is a good signing. And um, I love the fact that Monty McNair and staff came out and addressed one of their needs, and that is uh, providing sh- shooting. And the fact that you can come out when the free agency window opens up and you can get one of the best shooters to sign here in Sacramento. Um, that's great. It's great for the organization and it's great for the free agents and their agents as well. Uh, the fact that Malik Monk is one of the best shooters on the market, you're able to get him. Um, I don't want to ever hear anybody or any hater say that, Oh, nobody wants to come to Sacramento um, to all those people or haters that are saying that uh, piss off because We've proven that people would want to come here and play here for the Sacramento Kings in the past, and we have proven it again today. Uh, one of the best shooters on the market who's available free agent who could have gone anywhere he wanted to uh, chose to come here, and he wanted to play here with De'Aaron Fox and with the Sacramento Kings and for the city of Sacramento. So with that being said, Malik Monk, I want to welcome you to the Sacramento family. I'm looking forward to seeing you lighted up in a Kings uniform and play alongside with De'Aaron Fox and everybody else. Also wanted to mention, Damian Jones will not be a king. He actually took his talents to Los Angeles, and he signed a two-year deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. Very unfortunate that he's going to be with the Lakers, but great kid. I worked his tail off. I enjoyed his stint that he had here in Sacramento this past uh, couple seasons, and I wish him nothing but the best. I think he's going to be a good, good player for the Lakers moving forward. Um, that pretty much means is that don't be surprised if the Kings go out and be open to other moves or even possibly looking into bringing in Kevon Looney. Uh, we know there's a connection there with Mike Brown and, you know, with the Golden State Warriors. Uh, another option I can think of and look at, it could be Otter Porter Jr. as well. Don't be surprised, you know, if the Kings do need help at the wing spot, they do need a forward in the wing, and Otto Porter Jr. could be a realistic option as well. I've also heard rumors about you know, the ongoing John Collins rumors and also to Tobias Harris being a potential landing spot in a trade to Sacramento. So I'm eager to see where that goes, where those rumors go. If there's any, you know, uh, traction there that's been gained then the the, past, the last few days or even the coming days, I will keep you guys updated on that as well. It's a great day to be a Kings fan. Um, opening up, you sign one of the best free agent shooters and possibly one of the best free agents you've ever had in your signings in the last, like, decade or so. Uh, Malik Monk could go down as one of the best free agent signings the Sacramento Kings have had in their franchise existence, and that's uh, that's the way to say it. the way I said that the way to put it. Uh, that's a good sign, uh, nothing but positivity, man. So, with that being said, let me know your guys' thoughts on Malik Monk signing with the Sacramento Kings. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Please hit the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I'm excited to see what Malik Monk does in the Kings uniform. And moving forward, I'm excited to see what else Monty McNair and staff have uh, in their sleeves that they want to do to improve this roster and to improve this basketball club moving forward. So the goal should be end this curse, end this drought. And to do so is you got to be a better, improve the basketball team, obviously, and uh, show up, show up and play hard and play to win basketball games. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, in Monty, we trust. Looking forward to seeing what Monty McNair and staff do moving forward as well. Uh, that's going to do it for me for today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys take care. God bless. Keep pushing forward. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.